Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. You are uh, exceptionally generous, as well as being a very good chair. I'd like to pick up some of the clumsy vocabulary that we've heard in recent weeks discussing these financial rescue packages. The talk that we get in our media about rescuing Greece, giving assistance to Portugal, helping Ireland, that is not how the peoples in the recipient countries see it. The reason that Greeks are on the street protesting is because they understand perfectly well what the consequence of this EU IMF takeover will mean. The money is not going to ordinary Greek people, it is going to those financial institutions which hold Greek government debt. But the repayment will come from the ordinary taxpayer. In other words, Ireland, Portugal and Greece are being sent the bill for propping up the entire European banking system. Why? Because we cannot bring ourselves to admit that monetary union was a mistake. We can't bring ourselves to see the logic that jamming together countries with widely divergent conditions and needs into a single currency was bound to cause precisely the strains that some of us were predicting 10 years ago when the project was launched. And so we worsen and exacerbate the crisis by having yet more integration. All of the things that we heard in the debate yesterday uh, on this report, you know, we need fiscal union, we need economic governance. You see the flaw in the logic there, my friends. European integration has failed, so let's have more of it. Monetary union isn't enough. We need more economic union. The reality is this is about saving face. This is about saving the faces of those Eurocrats who launched the project in the first place and who are prepared to sacrifice the peoples of the peripheral countries and the taxpayers of the core countries in order to sustain their conceit. Surely theirs must be the most expensive faces since that of Helen of Troy, which launched a thousand ships.